sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house. BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up a pineapple chicken and an avocado tomato salad, and it's real easy to do. For this recipe, you're going to need some fresh, boneless chicken breast, just like this. I'm going to do a little preparation here, cut off the excess skin, a little bit of fat around the edges. And uh, you can either pound these uh, chicken breasts down to fairly thin, or you could do a slice like this. Just get them about, ooh, maybe a half inch thick. All right? Real easy to do. Now you can also have your butcher uh, pound these out, get the thin sliced chicken breast. It's all up to you, real easy to do, right? Now, what we're gonna do is make a marinade because we're gonna be marinating these chicken breasts for at least three or four hours. And you wanna do that because, as you know, chicken breasts are not easy to do on the grill unless you marinate them getting juicy. Now, we're gonna need some pineapple for the marinade, some soy sauce, you're gonna need some honey. Here we've got some ginger. You're going to need some garlic, you're going to get yourself a lime, a couple of scallions or green onions, and some cilantro. All right, let's put this marinade together. We're going to do some veggie chopping. Now, you know all about veggie chopping, so either turn your head or we'll just fast forward this part right here. All right, the veggies have been chopped. Now, let's put this marinade together. Now here I've got about a half a cup of pineapple juice. You need about a quarter cup of soy sauce. This is gonna help tenderize this, uh, these breasts here. And a couple tablespoons of honey. Now marinating your chicken breast like this, it'll come out nice, moist, and tender, all right? Now, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of ginger, both minced, a couple of scallions thin sliced, a couple of tablespoons of cilantro, and we're gonna need the juice of one lime. Now, of course, you can adjust this recipe to whatever you like. Or if you're doing a lot more chicken, you just want to double up on it. Now, we'll give it a good mix. Then we're going to set some aside here because we're going to make a little bit of sauce at the end. Now here I'm going to just take a plastic bag, put the chicken breasts in there. And like I said, we want this to marinate for at least three or four hours. You go much beyond that, uh, you just may cook the chicken, so to speak. Place this in the cooler of the refridge. Oh yeah. Now, while we're waiting for it to marinate, we might as well, uh, we're gonna chop up some lettuce. Cause we're gonna make ourselves an avocado tomato salad. Vegematics are going to love this one. <laughs> now who said the pit boys don't eat leafy green stuff? Now here I've got a couple of avocados. I'm going to throw those in the salad. You know all about cutting up veggies, but uh, heck, I have nothing to do. So if you have nothing to do, just sit back and watch.
Otherwise, you can use that fast forward button right down there in front of you. Now, if you've never had this pineapple, chicken, avocado, tomato salad, <clears throat> you definitely got to check this out. This is real good summertime eating. Here I've got a big old tomato. Make some thin slices. Whew. Man, the Food Network sees this. They're gonna wanna give us a show. Hit, barbecue pit boys do veggies. Here I've got a nice sweet Vidalia onion. A lot of great varieties of these uh, sugar sweet onions out there. You definitely want to look for them and check them out. Man, that's starting to look real pretty. <laughs> Since this is a tomato salad, here I've got some of these cherry tomatoes. You just want to split them in two. All right. The last thing you want to throw on this plate, some sliced lime. Hoo-wee! Eat your heart out, Vegematics. All right. Through the miracle of time, about four hours has gone by. And uh, we're going to uh, put these chicken breasts direct over a medium heat. Just, uh, just to sear them a little bit each side. Now, you don't want to overcook them. As you know, these chicken breasts get dried out real quick. So the trick is, sear them quick, each side, over medium heat. Whoa. Now be careful, you cook them too long over the fire, you just gotta dry them out. All right, flip them, sear the other side. Now, most of you know how to do this, but we're doing this for the newbies. Now, these chicken breasts are still rare on the inside, so we're gonna move them indirect opposite the hot coals for a few more minutes so they cook thoroughly through. All right, just about cooked. I'm gonna bring them briefly over the flames again. I want that layer of flavor on there. <laughs> Time to pull them off the grill. Man, you smell that? It smells good. Like I said, you do them up this way, they'll come out nice, and moist, and tender every time.
Now, one more thing we're going to add to this dish so we can make it look real pretty for your girly. So we're going to put on some fresh sliced pineapple. Direct, again, over the medium heat. Just going to cook them for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Good enough. And that sauce, we put aside that marinade there. Yeah. We're just going to heat it up a little bit. Now, I'd say it's time to eat. Let's serve this up. Oh yeah. A little bit of dressing. Oh. You hungry or what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to eat some of this right in front of you and I do apologize. Look at that. Moist and tender. <clears throat> So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, even if it's veggies, <laughs> you check out thebarbecuepitboys.com.